What up guys, this is Pastor Kena again, we're coming out with another video in C Sharp. You know, I just wanted to do, I supposed to finish my videos in, in uh, uh, jQuery, but yeah, I just didn't feel like doing it for now. But So I just want to do a really quick one on C Sharp, how to disable, how to enable and disable a button. This is really quick. So this is what's going to happen right here. But before we start guys, so please can you like the video, subscribe to the channel, like you know we're growing slowly by steady. So this is what we're going to be doing. So there's going to be a label by the name IP address, there's going to be a text box, there's going to be a port in a text box, a connect bu bu button and a disconnect button. So and then we have a text box right here which is going to display a message. So this is just a pretend IP address, we're going to do 127.0.0. Point one. I mean, it doesn't even do anything. But anyway, so let's do a port 1050, and then we're going to say connect. So it says connect, right? And as soon as I disconnect, so it disables the button. And then as soon as it's disconnected too, the message. And then if I do connect, it will enable the button again. And then if I don't have anything, if there is no IP address, no port. If you do connect, it's going to say not connected. You know, it's pretty cool. It's going to be simple. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So let's uh, do that really quick. I already have my Windows form about to be created. Windows form app right here. Let's go next. So let's just do right here. Enable. Enable buttons something like that so okay let's let's go to next right here let's go to create and it should be giving us a really soon okay I was like what's going on for a minute you know all right so it's loading my designer I think I gotta do some cleanup on my computer it's taking too long I got too many files in here but anyway, so right here, really quick, we're going to need, let's go to our Windows form. We're going to go to, uh, let's go to level first. Bang, we got a level. We're going to copy the level. It's going to be two levels right here. Then we're going to have a text box. Uh, text box, come on, where is text box? I just saw you, dude. Text box right here. And we're going to copy that to, oh yeah, didn't work, right there. And then, you know, actually, let's copy this one right uh, right here too. And then we're going to go to multi-line. So that's going to give us the chance to expand more. Which that's what it's doing right now, pan, pan, pan. I don't think, I think that's it. You know, actually, now we need a button. So let's just move this down right here. And then we need some buttons. Where are you, buttons? Give me a second right here. We got a button. Let's copy that button. Let's clone it. Pong, it didn't work. Let's do it again. And that worked. So now let's change the text. If you go in the corner in the bottom right here on, the, on your right. So you're selecting level one. So let's change the text for level one. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to say IP, IP address. Oh man, not like that, but like this. And then we could do enter and that should be good. And now the text box, we're going to call it, uh, let's see, we're going to change the name right here for the design. So we're going to call it display display IP IP address they say you gotta be descriptive right go okay, right here the next level we're going to say port for the text where are you text we're getting there we just do right here we just do text no we just do port We just do enter and now for the text box we're going to say display port as a name right here under the design display 
port we got it and then we got this button right here we want to call it connect we're going to call it connect which is good and then right here also we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a name uh, we're going to give it a name of um, oh man we're going to uh, what is the name of okay. <laughs> oh man just button yeah button sorry we're going to call it button right here uh, so I got distracted for a minute I want to call it button connect okay cool that's a good name and then for the next button oh no actually we gotta give it yeah button connect okay and the next button we're going to call it button disconnect okay enter and then let's change the text we're going to call it uh, disconnect disconnect cool is that good now we go for our multi-line text box we're going to give it a name because we need that so it's so going to go display display let's call it display box display box and then we go enter and that should be good we are good over here all right that's all we need so now we just click on connect double click it should take us to the form to the button click right here to the event so right here we're going to do a bar we're going to say port oh no we're going to say ip just to pretend this is no a real ip actually but just for the purpose of this video we're going to just call it IP uh, variable name and we're going to say display display box yes we want to display that on the box text and then we need a bar no actually this is not display box this is display IP let's just see what we have display IP address yeah that's what we need and then we have the port right here and then we're going to call it display port that's what we need and then we go right here we just do a if statement really quick if IPE not equals to null so yeah it should be good but let's just do, let's change this if IPE equals equals to empty string and and port equals equals to empty um, we're missing that text right here the text okay that text right there also boom, we got it and that kind of fix it in there so let's just go here and right here we want to say the following so display box oh just right there display box so display box that text and the message string is going to be not connected okay and the semicolon and then else we're going to say display display box that text equals to connected connected cool that that's working good let's save that and let's go back to our uh, design so now we just gotta go disconnect and then right here this is going to be simple we just gotta say display display box that uh, text and that's where the message is going to come we're going to say disconnect disconnected 
uh, is this connect I, mean, I don't know how to spell it again okay cool so that worked so if we go ahead and run the program right here it should okay so right now if I do connect right there is no IP address there's no port just a pretend IP or port there's nothing it should tell us what do we say that what do we say so if the IP equals empty and port empty is going to count this message not connected if that's if that has some IP address else this is going to say connected all right all right so let's go ahead and do that really quick let's run it again and we have IP address uh, 127.0.001 and then we're going to say port 1050 or 84 or whatever it is and then it says connected and then it says disconnected if you get rid of, of those IP address because that's what we tell them if that's empty it should tell us not connected right not connected which is good now we gotta work with those buttons we wanna uh, disable enable so every time you click disconnect it should be discon this it should be grayed out with that button right so let's do that how do we do right here we're going to say um, what is it? This, uh, what do you say? Button, button connect, false. Okay, right here is going to be disconnect, disconnect button. Now let's get rid of this. Let's do it again. So it can just give us disconnect, disconnect. Okay, right there button disconnect that's what we need false okay and then right here we want to say disconnect button disconnect is going to be true button disconnect equals false we're going to say true right here and that should do it let's run the program and then let's say one two seven point zero point zero zero one and then ten fifty connected disconnect it grayed out the button and then if I click uh, connect again it should activate the button yeah it activated and we don't have anything and then not connected then one two three whatever numbers you put right there it says pan disconnect cool right that worked pretty good so all right guys that was a pretty quick how to do a disconnect how to grade out a button like we did okay so hopefully this video helped you out really quick in your journey this is c sharp programming thank you for checking the video please don't forget to subscribe for more videos all right have a good night all right, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.